Hey guys, what's up? So, today we're going to do a new video in Substance Painter. And what we're going to look at is how to use generators and how to create uh, cool effects while using them. Okay, so let's check it out. Here we go. Alright guys, here we go. So, we're in Substance Painter 2.6.1 and I'm going to load up a very basic model that I created in uh, Maya 2018. So, let's load that up. So, we're going to go to a file. We're going to go to new. I'm going to use my template PBR Metal Rough as a default and I'm going to select my mesh. Okay, now I just made a simple cube in Maya just for demonstration purposes and obviously you need to make sure that it's UV'd but that's, you know, that is for every model you get into this little spinner. Okay, all right, so I'm going to leave everything at default. I'm going to click OK. That will bring in my cube. There we have it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake my initial maps. So I'm going to go to bake textures, leave everything at default. I'm just simply going to hit bake. That will generate some errors because I didn't uh, fine tune the settings, but that's fine. For uh, the purpose of what we're doing right now, we're all good. Okay. I'm going to go to view and reset my user interface. So we're all on the same page again. And now let's look at our generators. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a layer of material. Now I got one texture set going on here. So I'm going to go to materials and I don't know, we've got a plastic PVC going on here. I'm going to drag that in and drop that on. And as I do that, you see it has been applied. Now, the way generators work is if you have a material on top of another material, let's say paint on wood or paint on steel or whatnot, you can use a generator to have a predefined, kind of like a template, a predefined uh, wear pattern, rust, wear, chipping, that kind of stuff. Okay. So, but I'll just uh, show you. So we've got our PVC loaded up here and then my second layer is going to be steel. Okay. And I'm going to select steel rough. I'm going to drag that in as well. And as I drag that in, you don't see the steel because it's not on the top of our stack. So I want my steel to move up or better yet, I want my PVC to move down. Okay. Now we don't need this guy. So let's get rid of that. So we got our steel on top and we've got our plastic PVC as a second layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my steel and I'm going to add a black mask. And as I do that, the black mask covers the entire steel material. That's why it's a black mask. Okay. Now I could go in with a white brush and start to paint areas where I want to see the steel come through, but that's where the generators come in. Okay. Like I said, it's kind of a template. So I'm going to make sure that I got that black mask uh, selected. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to add effect. And when I do that, I have the option to add a generator. So let's do that. And with that generator selected, I can now go into my properties. And if I click on the generator, I have a number of options to choose from. These are kind of presets, but if you have substance designer, you can create your own effects and therefore your own generators. Okay. Now I want to have a edge wear going on. Uh, let's see. I think that's the one. Yeah. Metal edge wear. And once I click on that, what you will see is that the generator has been applied. You can see that edge wear going on on the corners right there. And that is done based on the UV obviously and on a curvature map. But the cool thing is you can now go in and you can start to change the properties. So if you want the wear level to go down or up and you can go way up. Okay. You can have, um, you can tweak the contrast if you want it to be very visible or not. Okay. Uh, let's see what else more grunge get the idea. Okay. So that is all this to it. It's really straightforward and basic, but that said, it's a very, very powerful tool. So uh, have fun with that and let me know if you have any questions. And uh, that said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.